Hey, what's up? I'm Becca. And I'm Ethan. And we go to Eastern Michigan University. On December 13th, one of my fellow classmates, Laura Dickinson, was murdered in her dorm. On December 15th, her body was discovered. And on December 16th, the Eastern Michigan Department of Public Safety released this statement that they are working closely with the medical examiner's office to determine the cause and circumstance of death. At this point, there is no reason to suspect foul play. No foul play. No foul play. That same day, December 16th, the police were knocking on my door as, stu as Laura was a classmate of mine, and I received an email from her. So I was a suspect. And I have to say that the police are doing their job by coming around and questioning me and many other students. But there are some certain parts of the case that should have been revealed to the students regarding safety of everybody on campus. It wasn't until over two months later, on Friday, February 23rd, when Eastern Michigan released this statement. A suspect has been arrested and charged in the death of Laura Dickinson. There are so many facts that were still being withheld from the public. In fact, this is the first time the university came out and said it was even a murder. 20-year-old... Orange Amir Taylor III from Southfield was also an Eastern Michigan student, and he was arrested with the murder of Laura Dickinson, age 22, of Hastings. Smart. Taylor's charged with open murder, criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, assault with intent to commit sexual penetration, first degree home invasion, and larceny in a building. In the Eastern Echo, March 5th, however, her father, Robert Dickinson, said he was a little suspicious when he discovered keys were missing from his daughter's room. March 8, 2007, the Ann Arbor newspaper released this statement. Court papers show what police found. It turns out they discovered Laura Dickinson's partially clothed body on her floor of her dorm room with a pillow over her face and evidence that she had been sexually assaulted. Clearly, this is an act of violence that occurred on my school's campus that the university should have informed us about. Let's take a brief look at what the Cleary Act states. The Cleary Act requires all colleges and universities that participate in federal financial aid programs to keep and disclose information about crime on and near their respective campuses. The law is named for Jean Cleary, a 19-year-old Lehigh University freshman who was raped and murdered in her campus residence hall in 1986. The Cleary Act, signed in 1990, was originally known as Crime Awareness and Campus Security Act. The Cleary Act requires institutions to give timely warnings of crimes that represent a threat to the safety of students or employees. Institutions are also required to publish their policies regarding timely warnings in their annual campus security report. The institution is only required to notify the community of crimes which are covered by the Cleary statistics. The following offenses, as defined by the UCR, which is the Uniform Crime Report, are required to be included in the institution's ASR, that annual security report, as well as sent to the U.S. Department of Education. They are criminal homicide, i.e. murder and non-negligent manslaughter, as well as negligent manslaughter, sexual offenses, both forcible and non-forcible, robbery, aggravated assault, burglary, arson, motor vehicle theft, and arrest and or disciplinary referrals for liquor law violations, drug law violations, and illegal weapons possessions. According to the Eastern Echo, Monday, March 5th, Taylor is charged with open murder, criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, assault with intent to commit sexual penetration, first degree home invasion, and larceny in a building. My question to the YouTube community is, do you feel that my school, Eastern Michigan University, has violated the Cleary Act in not disclosing what happened in the case of Laura Dickinson? So which is more important? The safety of 24,000 other students at Eastern Michigan University or the preservation of an investigation into the death of one student? It is known that the killer did take keys from the dorm room, meaning he had access to that dorm building for this entire time. Um, that's one thing that students have thrown out uh, as a main concern um, for why we weren't notified. 
I would really like to see what you have to think about this. I do recognize that this video has been very brief and um, factual, but um, there's all the sources that I've cited right here on the side, and please let me um, know what you think, if my university should be um, fined by the Department of Education for violating the Clery Act. Thanks for watching. Bye.